welcome to Saving the Cabin. And it's another stairwell video. Um, in the previous video, I mentioned that I was going to be vacuuming and sanding and then painting. So that's what today's video is. And I am, like if you see this wood beside me, some of this wood paneling is going to be staying because there's nothing really to replace it with. I am going to leave it the color it is, but I'm going to be washing it down with everything else I'm washing the, with the Murphy's wood oil soap. So let's get started. All right, sanding's done. On to the vacuuming and then the washing. Alright, you can see how far I made it. I did this wall earlier when testing out the soap. I did those walls and then all the way up to this landing right here. I stopped there just because I want to vacuum a little bit more. And of course I didn't get the vacuum enough time to charge before using it for the first time. So we'll let all this dry and then we'll come back. And you may have noticed in a previous video when I was doing the railing, talked about doing railings right here. I'm gonna hold off on this because I am making this section underneath here a little hidey hole for the kids by taking out this wall. Um, and I don't know what I am putting right here to cover it. So just in case it interferes with the railings that I would put up, I'm going to figure things out first. Now that it's dried, I just want to point out the difference. This is regular floor. See the funk? And then you can see like the line of demarcation. And then nice and clean. Cool, huh? I have washed everything that I can reach without using a ladder. Anything that I need to use a ladder for tomorrow, I'll just hand dust. But tomorrow the painting will begin. <laughs> Siri doesn't think that uh, I will be painting tomorrow, apparently. Um, yeah, so. I'm not sure I understand. Really, can, can we stop this? So, tomorrow is the painting, if all goes as planned, and Siri is not correct. And yeah, it made a huge difference. The, the wood floors themselves and the walls are so different. At a much later time, I'll be going back and sanding the stairs, and making them look pretty. That's not necessary for getting us in the cabin. 
course, really, painting isn't either, but I'm painting. And when you see the next part of the video and you see the paint, just know I did not paint the stairs. There is paint all over the stairs and all over the wood that should be brown. Someone did a horrible job and looks like they just tried to wipe it up with a paper towel and they left the slug smear behind. That was not me. I will be using painter's tape. <laughs> so my sweaty butt is going to go get in the shower and we will continue this on day two. All right. You can see we're on day two after cleaning or the day after cleaning. The difference in the floor is kind of funny, but you can see we came up here and we walked around. So like there's a footprint in it. It is what it is. But when you look at that, you can definitely see the 17 years worth of dust sitting. Stairs look so much better too. I'm going to start doing my taping job, taping off anything I don't really want to get painted. Granted, everything eventually will be replaced or sanded, but I still want to keep it kind of neat. Okie dokie, both sides are taped and all down the stairs on any of the spots I could drip. Time to paint.
Okay, again, covered in paint, look like a hot mess, but whoop, the upstairs railing is done. I had the blue tape taken off, but downstairs, I still have to do a second coat on all of it and it's still pretty fresh. So I'm gonna give it the rest of the afternoon and then come back this evening and finish it up. But up close look, didn't turn out too shabby, I have to say. And even from this direction, nice clean lines. Yeah, I got a little smudge right there. Not bad. But that piece of wood is just destroyed anyway, so it's going. Alrighty, everything is cleaned up and white. No more teal, well, there's the green underneath, but no more the light teal for the railings. And as you saw, I put stair tread tape down. And if you guys are wondering, this light is a motion sensor and it only stays on for like 10 seconds. It was the best I could find, but it's annoying. So here's the stairs, my little special handle. And here's a look from the top. And yes, eventually right here, there will be a railing too. But for right now, I'm leaving it open till again, I figure out what's going on underneath. There we go. And now everyone can see where the edge of the stairs are instead of that horrible blue tape that was there. So there we go, reeling's up. We are on to the next project. See you guys later, bye.